What's going on, guys? Uh, Charles Hutchinson here. Uh, man, I've been been a little MIA. Um, we had many releases um, towards the that back half of the year, um, more the back, I guess, month or so um, after the ghost. Um, so, yeah, it's just been kind of quiet. I know everybody did their little end of year wrap up. Um, as you can see, ball in the back. Um, I did get the track Paragon in and the Eruption Pearl. So those are two reviews that are coming. Um, I just came down with COVID. Um, so that's kind of slowed me down uh, a little bit here, uh, getting some content out. Uh, getting to work with some guys, uh, some other local guys that are on staff uh, who are getting, you know, some of their brands. Uh, so we're going to see a couple more guys going to the new year, uh, getting them getting them on the page, uh, getting some content up. Uh, just makes it more efficient for me. Uh, then it's also better for the viewers, so you get a different opinion outside of just mine. Uh, so, yeah, man. But uh, starting off 2022, uh, the best balls from from last year, uh, in my opinion, like there's a, there's a ton of good pieces. Uh, when you look at the seven brands um, from Brunswick Hammer Radical, Track Deviate, Columbia, and Ebonite, there were 45 balls released. 45 balls released. <laughs> take one you know one or two balls maybe i might have missed one especially when you in, include like the spare balls and stuff of that of that nature uh, <clears throat> a lot of product released uh, of course i couldn't touch all of the 45 um balls that came out but i'm kind of going to give you my standouts and uh, what i saw people gravitate towards um and what i believe uh was going down the lane a lot versus and then also what just my favorite pieces were from each brand and then kind of what's in my bag so that's kind of the order of events um and yeah man uh so just kind of precursor i didn't throw a lot of the radical stuff um uh, and i didn't throw uh many of the columbia 300s i just didn't um the ones that really excited me um i'm just a track i have just a, a, fasc a fascination with it uh with a lot of their rocks um and i just think they actually matched up with me really well uh, starting really with the the proof series um that's really what just kind of has held me to this brand so much because i just i really love those those uh those balls so um let's get started um uh, brunswick they released the zenith pearl zenith hybrid knockout midnight uh jab or uh, melee jab midnight blue uh stellar evo pearl evo solid um Again, that's enough balls right there. Though. That's definitely a complete arsenal, in my opinion. Um, but I think the standout of this bunch um, was the knockout. I think the Evos came on a little bit you know, later in the year. Of course, everybody still getting their chance to get a hold of them. But I think the consensus is the knockout was a very special piece uh, for a lot of people. Um, so, and then once you... My personal pick from the, from the Brunswick brand is... The Evo Solid. I just I love I love that ball. Um, it's a big ball, but it's strong. It's continuous. Um, again, it's, it's some oil. I have no doubts. I picked that ball up. You know, it's going to hook. So um, can't overthrow it, overpower it. The ball hooks on everything. So again, I just love that piece. Uh, probably going to order another one of those in a minute. Um, then we move to Hammer. You got the Hammer, uh, the Raw Hammer series. Um, so that's the solid, the hybrid, and the, per and the two pearls. Uh, I think the, the solid by far was one of probably the best one, uh, followed behind the <clears throat> the pink, the pink and silver and black one, uh, the pearl. They just appeal, shuffle appeal on that. Uh, the pink one just it sold a lot. Like you just, I saw several people have that ball. It's a good looking ball. Um, then you have the obsession. Then you have the obsession tour. Then you have obsession tour pearl. Then you have the web pearl and the scorpion. Uh, infamous uh, black widow ghost and the purple hammer at the top of the year i think that's when that ball came out no it's just summer 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 uh, these i mean hammer came out with a ton of rocks i think that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know eleven out of eleven or twelve rocks they released this year and <laughs> released so much product man it, it's nuts like to even try to keep up with everything uh i didn't get an opportunity to throw the scorpion i saw several people throw it uh that loved it um i just again what that ball came came out alongside of i just 
I gravitated towards the web pearl. Um, <clears throat> once you look at the rest of my bag, uh, you definitely see that I, I tend to throw a lot of pearls. Like I just, I like, I do like pearls. Uh, just, you know, being honest, like as pearl or a solid, that's generally, you know, 90% of my, I say 90%, probably about 60% of my bag is, you know, shiny equipment. Um, I like to get left, I like to, you know, throw it hard, um, you know, get around the ball, spin it, see the big loop. Uh, so yeah. So, I mean, there's a best ball. I think the consensus, uh, for hammer is the session tour. I think that's a ball we didn't have in the line, you know, a lower diff option, um, but it's still a strong cover. And I threw that ball, and I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I, I moved off of it. It was a little too sharp for me. I didn't. It's kind of like the IQ IQ Tour, um, like the, the from Storm. Uh, it, it was so clean, and, and it, it was it was pretty angular, like, and it's out of, out of box. Like, it's just I, it doesn't match up with me. Um, <clears throat> It's too much. It's just too much off the corner. But everybody says, like, that's one of those balls that you just let it lane shine and give it time, give it time. I throw too much stuff to give balls a ton of time. If I don't like it, I just and generally don't don't like it, and I move on. Um, that's probably the same goes for, like, the knockout, too, like the Brunswick knockout. That I think, again, phenomenal balls. I just – I didn't give those balls enough time. So – and then I had other options that I really liked – um, in, in those places, mind you, I don't think there's anything quite like the obsession tour. It being asymmetric and a little bit lower diff, I think it's definitely a ball. I had to give another try. Um, and I did order another one, so I'm going to punch it and, you know, see what that looks like. Um, probably drill a little bit differently. Uh, but yeah, so I think the consensus, uh, is the obsession tour, uh, where most people really just like that ball where <laughs> for me personally, um, I like the Obsession Tour Pearl. Uh, I just really gravitate towards that ball. Again, I like pearls. Um, and it's just it's a very useful, uh, controllable shape for me. Um, you know, especially once the lanes got through that first progression or first transition. Uh, it just gave me the world most of the time. I, when I picked it up, uh, <clears throat> carried it, went through the pins like, like really good. Um, and I'm really liking the, the ghost as well now. Um, really, like just since I those two, those two are like my my favorite pearls. Um, with the wet pearl, you know, in there too, in that mix, like I can't pick a a favorite of those three. Um, wet pearl is definitely at the yeah, one, one or two. Um, with the obsession tour pearl and, and go widow, uh, ghost fighting there, and then uh, radical. I think radical had an interesting year. Um, they released a lot of uh, different pieces, um, you know, from the really big ASIM, ASIM uh, solids to, you know, a bonus pearl uh, and an uh, Intel pearl. So I didn't throw, again, many of these, just being honest, I didn't. Most of, a lot of the stuff I haven't just matched up with, whether that's, you know, surface or just layout choice, um, I just just haven't gravitated towards it and again there's 45 balls to pick from so it just it just didn't match up um but I think my consensus like one of the better balls for the year um it was kind of incognito pearl I think I saw a number of people throwing I think the incognito uh was a very popular piece in 2020 so I think the pearl really just you know just carried on that wave um but <clears throat> I think the payback is probably you know it be, hasn't been out as long but i think that ball is probably the special one of the bunch in my opinion uh, and i think that will probably show over time so then we get to track uh they came out with you know um only came out with five balls um proof hybrid um strata hybrid legion pearl heat kinetic platinum um i i wasn't the biggest fan of the kinetic platinum again it's just a little little too hockey stick for me um, and mind you, it's not that I don't like, you know, a little more skid flip balls, but that one just, <sighs> this, I had, I had other options, um, that I was a fan of in that spot. Um, so, and it was, it was really close to my, my proof pearl that I still was throwing, um, around that time. So, and then, but my consensus pick for the 
like what I saw people throwing, what I saw people gravitating towards in this bunch, um, was the Strata Hybrid. Um, it, and that's probably like a close between a Strata Hybrid and the Heat. The Heat, again, just recently released. Um, I think those are probably going to be the consensus balls of the year for that brand for track. And my personal pick is a Strata Hybrid. I just think that ball is the nuts. Like, I think it's another one, just like the Proof Series, that is overlooked. And if you aren't paying attention and can see that, like, you're just missing out. I mean, I think and somebody probably will say that about some of the radical pieces for, for me that I'm missing out. Um, that I just, you know, because I haven't thrown a bunch of them. Uh, but, again, only have five five balls to come out. I think four of them are all hits. I think four of them are hits. So, um, that's just, again, just my opinion. You know, take it or leave it. Uh, but I think I saw uh, what's on pa- Packy uh, said same thing about the Strata Hybrid. Man, that's almost a goaded, goaded level bowling ball right there. Uh, then you get to now we're going to uh, move on to the damn Gra- uh, not damn Graverge <laughs> DV8 <laughs> uh, and the damn Graverge. So that they released that Hellraiser Return, Hellraiser Blaze, uh, Activate Medusa. Um, the other those rocks. Um, I think the Hellraiser got, you know, it, it's such a big hook, hook in a box. Like, that was both of them. They are just, like, big, overly strong pieces. Like, if you, yo, the balls don't skid flip, like, go try those out. But I think that was just <laughs> a little too much. A little too much, in my opinion. I just, I don't, I didn't see a ton of those going down the lane. Um... Because they just, I think they hooked too much. They literally scared enough people that'd be like, yo, they, they hooked way too much for me to even care to try to drill this ball. Um, just in my area. And I think if you were somewhere, probably up north, um, where they just load the lanes up with oil, those balls probably looked amazing. Um, but I know from most of my guys, especially you know in the Raleigh area, Dallas and Florida, man, they don't get enough oil for this, for them balls, man. Not for that. That. Crap, man, just hooks way too much, man. I don't mean crap and crap, but I mean just in a lot of stuff. Uh, so, but we're gonna go to Columbia 300. Now, Columbia 300 is coming on strong, and they only released you know about four or five balls this year uh, with the Dynamic Swing Pearl, Command, Command Solid, and Power Torque. Um, like the Command Solid, I think was nuts. I think that ball was 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 great i saw a lot of people throwing that one and then of course the power torque i think those first i think the dynamic swing pearl and then the command were kind of yeah you know you didn't see a ton of people gravitating towards it uh especially dynamic swing i just didn't think the ball looked that great in my opinion just my opinion uh sue me but um but i think the commands were were good i think both of them i think command solid really just we saw people a lot of the pros using it and then that just opened some other people's eyes up to trying to throw that ball so i think the power torque is by far the consensus best ball from columbia 300 this year and just my pick too power torque you know just it's what it is like just a good ball um <clears throat> so we're gonna scoot along to ebonite uh ebonite released the gb4 gb4 asim uh, the Puma, Aerodynamics, and the Polaris. Um, I think this is a no-brainer as well. GB4, uh, you know, for the consensus pick, and then my pick as well, GB4. I threw that one. It was phenomenal. Out of box, I didn't love it. It was so strong. I didn't realize that that was the intent. That that's what they were going for. Like, they were trying to make a symmetric ball that rolls like an ASIM, essentially. Like, it, it wants to go forward. It's a really, really strong cover. A lot of surface it needs a it needs oil to look really good um but after you put some games on it like some games i mean but like 20 30 40 don't resurface it um and you threw it it became a very versatile even more versatile piece in my opinion uh much more useful than its initial out of box uh, usage so Again, that's just my two cents. If you like the the Game Breaker series, I think you'll love this one too. Just gotta throw it, get some games on it, get a little cleaner, a little more, a little more shape uh, down lane. So, yeah, man, that is kind of what 2021 had to bring, man. Outside of, you know, we didn't get really much COVID relief. Uh, I was hoping to have a better year than this. 
Uh, but learned a lot. The channel uh, is growing. Um, uh, we we got to 500, 500 uh, subscribers. We're, we're halfway to, to, to where we want to be. Uh, got to get to that first thousand. Um, yeah, man, uh, I'm excited about what's to come. I learned a lot. Um, put out putting out more content consistently. That is that is the goal. I want to do it as much as I can um, with balance in life. So. Yeah, man, we're going to get some more league stuff. I'm both with a great group of guys and a uh, lady, Shakia. Um, uh, they, they're they awesome, man. We're fun. We have a good time. Probably going to do some more recording there. Uh, we all throw the ball a little bit differently. Um, so I think it's just fun to get more. Like, just like, you know, the Darren Tangs and uh, Motive Lou. Uh, those guys are getting those. These are more content. Um, I do think I throw the ball pretty well. Uh, so... Yeah, man, I think it's just showing more, being more transparent. So, so what we're we gonna do in 2022? Uh, you know, I definitely missed some reviews. Like I didn't put up. Like I recorded a lot of stuff um, that sometimes didn't make it out. Whether it was just a time thing or I feel like I missed a boat. Uh, but now with building an audience and people want to see content, just put it out there. Like even if again I couldn't get like the oil put down the lane. Uh, so now I'm bowling on some, some burn, burn, uh, or just, again, just working on, you know, planning better period so that I don't run into those problems. So yeah, man, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, I definitely missed probably like five, probably five or six videos that I just didn't post or put up, um, this past year. So I'm going to work on not doing that. Uh, even if I, again, I just didn't love the shots, but just it's the honesty, it's the transparency. It's not going to be perfect, perfect time, perfect timing, um, the perfect conditions to do reviews. So again, just working with that. I'm sometimes I can be just perfectionist about that. I'm very, like, I want to see a certain thing when I'm putting the videos together, uh, as far as, you know, the conditions consistency wise, uh, you know, me, I'm not a robot, so by no means can I, you know, replicate every shot the same, uh, but doing things in a fashion and moving that, that way. So it can be as put the best content out there as I can. So yeah, man. Uh, but what's in my bag and then I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> um, what's in my bag right now is the Evo solid strata hybrid obsession to a pearl, uh, infamous heat web pearl legion pearl um again a lot of pearls i have what's that one two three got three solids in my bag and a bunch of pearls um that i kind of interchange like whether i'm bringing this one bag in or two bags uh, that's kind of how i divvy it up and yeah man i got black widow that i throw in there as well if i know i'm gonna need something a little cleaner and still uh really get down the lane and get around the corner um but yeah so that's what's in my bag right now um and we gonna probably end up adding this um paragon to the bag because again i'm a huge fan of this one i'm gonna drill it a little bit different all right drill it differently than my, my evo solid it's probably gonna be drilled exactly the same as my strata my, my original strata solid i still have that ball um so I'm going to drill that one and uh, we're going to check that out. That's probably going to be one of the comparisons. I'm going to compare this ball, uh, the Paragon, to the Obsession as well and, and the Evo Solid. I'm just going to kind of go through the gant, like all of the, the brands that I personally have and just compare these balls uh, to the top of the line ASIMs and see, you know, are they the same? Are they different? What are the differences? Uh, just to give you guys a better idea. Uh, so if this is something you do have in your bag so you can see the difference and hopefully make a better educated decision when you buy your next bowling ball. So, hey, man, cheers up. Uh, 2022, we are here. Um, let's have a ball, man. We're going to do what we do. Hopefully, you're going to see some more people on the channel, uh, put some more content out consistently. That is the goal. Um, yeah, man. So thank you, everybody, for supporting, uh, subscribing, liking, watching. Um, got a long way to go, a lot more to do. Um, so thank you for sticking with me. So 2021 is done. 2022, we're here. Uh, do, do some bigger and better things. All right. Deuces.